Good show, everybody. Hey, we did it. Woo! My fucking hammies are so goddamn tight, man. Why did you 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 walk? What, what are you doing? I got I got a, I got a fucking I got tight hammies, dude. Do you need to walk it out, or did you ah! walk it out too much? Ooh. You want me to help you out? No, it's fine. Okay. This is my burden. Yeah. I'm working on the same issue right now. Tight hammies? Tight hammies. You've been running too much? No, I'm just big. And we're not. But we're not. but I have tight hammies and I have to work them out. You do. Yep. I don't know how. To, I mean, I guess I, I can I can gun them. Sure. I got I got the I got the massage gun. Oh yeah. But Does that work? Does that work for you? It certainly punches my legs repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. That's I what massages that, are. I noticed that too. But then after about 20 minutes, I'm like, well, we're we're right back where we were. Well, I don't know what's going on with your hammies, but 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 my, my hammies do feel a little bit better because okay. they get worked out a little bit. Uh, but no, mine are my they're, they're tight because uh, the gym they've been they've been running me ah. a lot, and so I oh so I, you, you you were you were you were you were so tired from you paying your big dick tax and you went to the gym so you could. Yep. Work out those porn trunks. Is that what I mean, jeez. I mean, like, come on. Like, <laughs> right, that's, that's... like at some point, like, if I'm living a good life, do I have any humanity? Am I just, am I just that guy? Like, I, I mean, I'm trying to share. I'm, I'm, I'm poking you, bud. I'm I know, I know, I know. No, I deserve it. This is the reason why I dance around it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's coming. Sure. That's you why know. we call it the big dick tax and yep. not the... I know, BD but that's dicks. not fun. I should be more drunk. <laughs> I No, I don't think his... I, I feel like that's... that's that no, want. that's the solution. The solution is I should just be more irresponsible. And then that way you'll feel better about yourself? That's... Well, I mean, it was literally the whole premise of this show. You know, like, like the, the premise of this show was Brian and I talking about our, our misadventures. Right. One could say that the show has gotten materially worse the more we've become responsible. <laughs> because the show wasn't really about us. Right. It was about dumb shit we did and the funny stories that we told about. Sure. But now it's just me complaining about the fact that I paid a lot in taxes. Yeah. And I'm trying to think of the funniest way to say it. And like hopefully it came off good. I I liked it. But I enjoyed it. There's a there's a very good chance it didn't. <laughs> you do not get. I I would say you probably do not get sympathy from it. No, but you nor might get a I. chuckle. Nor you should, should I. Nor but should but I. a chuckle, I think you could yeah. get from that. Well, I mean, I yeah. Not to inside the actor's studio oh. the show we literally just did, but uh, uh, hey, what's your can favorite we talk to Justin? sound or noise do is, you like to make? Is Justin here with us today? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. When you made when you made that New York rap last week, <laughs> how much did it hurt you inside that you lost half of that beautiful performance? Oh my God, that was actually annoying. That was actually yes. frustrating. Although uh, uh, watching back what we got was really funny. Yeah. Good, because at least at least we got we got to the point where where we did the New York, and that was like. People can just assume there was something really funny that happened afterward. And I'm like, all right, I can settle there. Okay. Because it would have been really terrible if it was just like, like, no. And then that yeah. was it. And nobody knew that I did a musical improv for 30 it. seconds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, very, God. very, very funny. You want to take a look at some show titles? Let's yes. do it. All right. We're going to go to Twitch. Uh, excuse me. Night that show about dot TV. Some of the top titles, including Call Me Ishbal. That's pretty fucking That's good. That's pretty good. We've got uh, Sympathy for the Billionaires. <laughs> jury from the Block. Jury from the Block's pretty good. I, I mean... Win jury. Uh, can we go back to the billionaire thing? Yeah. So so here's all I don't know, and here's a thing for which... Because everybody gets into this idea, this like political idea of no ethical billionaires and blah, 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 blah. Right? right. Put that aside for two seconds. Let's imagine that you're just... You know, you're 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 Kendall Roy. Like you were just born into a family for which you just have a billion dollars. You had no choice. Sure. You just have it. Yeah. All I'm asking for is whether or not anyone can conceive of the anger of paying five hundred million dollars. Now I know that's a that's a hard thing to do. You have to mentally project because you have no idea what it is to have a billion dollars, right? 
But if you get annoyed at paying ten thousand, sure. And we are assuming, and this is this is my own personal path. I am saying that when I paid twenty, I felt Twice ten thousand more annoyed. Yeah. Now that I've paid more than that, I feel that amount more annoyed. Do you ever feel it will peak? I don't know. Yeah. This is my question. Well, okay. Let's imagine that it never does. 500 million annoyed would be enough for me to start funding political candidates. Well, it would seem to me then what you would do is you would give that money away to where you're like, look, I know I'm going to have to pay this. But I can do a tax deduction. No, this is this is the reason why you- I know. This is the reason why I know this is a, an actual thing. Because everyone's response to it is another thing they do. Everybody wants to avoid the fact. Well, no, you would try to avoid it. That's exactly no, what no, I'm no, 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 not not avoid the taxes. The, no, avoid Just the feeling. Avoid the feeling. Yes, yes. And you would avoid the feeling by saying, "I'm going to take control of this." Because right now, I think part of that money that you uh, are paying. You feel like I have no control over this money. I, to be honest, there's no actual political feeling that comes into it. And, and I don't. Mean it, 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 by is, it is literally just making a payment in right. the way that I make a payment for my mortgage. I make a payment for my cell phone. I make a payment for the Taco Bell. Like uh, 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 sometimes I make a payment and I feel very very happy about it. Sure. Sometimes I make a payment and I'm very sad about it. This is just a very large payment. That I have no... You want to know what? Here, all right. Constructive. Constructive feedback for the federal government. Sure. Maybe just like a little animation when you pay. Your little show. (laughs) Maybe show. Maybe get the jib-jab, people. (laughs) Yes. Get the jib-jab, people. You did it. it. You did it. You paid your money. And it's your own head on the... Just understand that it's a painful moment. Give me a little song and dance. There's a little Jefferson. There's a little Washington. There's a little Ben Franklin. And there and, and it's a new song every year. Imagine that. There it Imagine, is. Imagine, and now it's Doja Cat. And I'm like, oh, I love the Doja Cat song. And it's uh, uh, Jefferson and Lincoln singing Say So. Sure. Like I, I'm, I'm like, I would love that. That would be a delight. I, I would be excited to pay the money so I could find out what song they were going to do. Sure. But I don't get that. You want to know what I get? A fucking website that looks like a scam. Right. I I, I don't know how many people have paid it independent looks, taxes, yeah. but you go to a website that is effectively called pay USA taxes for real dot biz. Yes. Like it is the shittiest fucking website. You have to enter in an ungodly amount of money into this and then hit a web form that that you would not trust to buy shoes for your taxes and then it just says thank you the irs will be in contact and guess what they're not no the irs never sends you an email you just have to assume that this shady fucking website actually paid your taxes and so now you have an unease on top of the fact that you paid them a large lump sum of money. And even five years later, they may suddenly go, you know what? You actually owed more than that, and we didn't tell you for five years, and now you got to pay that, for that, 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 that That's a whole other thing I don't even want to get to. Okay. Like, like, But yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yep. Because that does factor into it, but I don't even want to get into the idea of how we do taxes. So, I'm just saying the way that I pay yes. the thing that I do is unsettling, and I would like a jib jab animation of a popular song to make me feel better. I'd like to ask you one more question. Yes. Because another thing that you pay a lot of money for is your house. Do you feel any type of anger paying for your house? No, because I live in my house. I get to use it you, a lot. You yes. feel so it really is a thing of it's not just the paying of the money, it's the it's it is the feeling of going, I'm paying this for no reason. Well, no, I, I would say this. When we paid the most for our house was when we bought it. Yeah. But we had the adrenaline of getting to move into our house. Like that is a very nerve wracking process that eventually leads into you being able to move into a new place. Every time you've moved into a new place, whatever in your life, there's been, you know, excitement and fear and like everything that that mixes into that. There's none of that with this. No. There's just 
just I got to just hey, give this shit away. For real, bro. This is the tax site dot yeah. USA. <laughs> yeah. And then you just say, OK, here's you, a ridiculous I mean, amount of money. Maybe here's my a- here's my debit card. Not even a credit card. They don't do credit card. No, 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 no. no oh, no. no, they do. This is all right. Uh-oh. Big, big tax. My credit card doesn't. I don't have a credit limit high enough. Oh, okay. to pay my <laughs> to pay for that. <laughs> trust me. They don't make a condom big enough for me. Trust man. <laughs> me. I would have loved the points. <laughs> so, would you have been happy if maybe there was like a flushing sound when you hit the send button? Maybe that would be in. A they thing. should have a fucking pizza tracker. Pizza there tracker. you go. There we go. Yes. There yes. we go. Give me a pizza tracker. Yeah. And it's like it's like and then it's like 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 like. Ten percent, like all the homeless are getting fed. Yeah, like like uh, every old person is getting a blanket right now. A lot of this is going to the military, but don't worry about that. Fine, yeah, exactly. Like like somebody in Kiev is getting a rocket launcher. Get your rocket launcher. Like good for them. Fine, yes, good. Give me all that, and then yes, somebody pointed out. Your man Jeff points out. If I also got a pizza at the end, it'd be nice. Yeah. They're like, yeah. If you pay over a certain amount of money in taxes, they will just send you would get you a pizza. Right. Look, it's a I, business opportunity, yep. right? Like I, this is a perfect upsell. You got a ten. You got a, you got how many thousand dollars? You don't want to throw eight dollars for another for large pepperoni, come on, buddy? Bro. Come on, large I'm pepperoni, making $8. America better Thank right you. now with these ideas for you, America. Pick them up. I'm leaving them here. Pick them up. I, I have a, a question for you, Bryce. Yes. There are $8 pizzas. There are $5 pizzas. $5 Yeah. Pizzas. They're called Hot and Ready's. Yeah. And okay. they're fucking good. From yeah. Little Caesars. From Little okay. Caesars. I don't and go. they're fucking good. Yeah. That's my own big dick. <laughs> you don't go, go to Little Caesars? I don't Caesars. go to Little oh, Caesars. Oh, uh, $5. No. I don't pay $5. I'm sorry. No, I don't pay no, I'm sorry. I don't pay no, 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 Little yeah. Caesars. I would I never pay less like than a dollar per slice. I have slice. never had a big foot. No. 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 But I do eat sorry. those uh, hot dogs a. from Costco. So there we go. I actually want to uh, get... I saw somebody had put it on a hat or a T-shirt, but it's like the famous quote of the CEO. Oh yeah, the if you ch- if you change these the price of the dogs, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I forget I forget who it was. It was either like an incoming CFO or something. Price, if you could actually look up the story, but that would be uh, it was it was allegedly at a board meeting or some kind of briefing where somebody was like, well, actually, if we raised it to two fifty. Uh, uh, we then, can. then we would mitigate a lot of the cost, and yeah, and he said, yeah. if you change the cost of the hot dog, I'll fucking, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, that's the that's my guy. <laughs> like at that point, it's like, yep, I'll pay my Costco membership. Yep, forever. Yep, for life. You want the you want the full quote? Yes. Let's go. I came to Jim uh, Senegal once, and I said, Jim, we can't sell this hot dog for a buck fifty. Uh, we are losing our rear ends. And he said, if you raise the effing hot dog, I will kill you. Figure it out. <laughs> Which is even better. Yeah. If you do this, I'm going to kill you. If like, you raise the hot dog, I will kill, kill you. you. <laughs> yep. I mean, those hot dogs kill enough people. So, uh... Uh, Shay, hey, hey, uh, hey, I, hey. You know, hey, let me say, that I actually hey. was talking to a nice couple yesterday that I was helping. And we were talking about Costco. And they were saying, yeah, we bought hot dogs uh, from Costco and I was like great you only had one though right and, and the guy said no I had two I said yeah that's the mistake it's always you can eat one hot dog and it's great what are you, you the fucking that- hot dog hot dog police yes no no it's yes? just the way you feel after the officer wow. you eat that one hot dog it's great wow. you start on that second one you start <laughs> <laughs> it's no this- come on I mean look I've had two hot dogs. They were great. <laughs> okay. They were great. But then again, me and uh, uh, Andrew Maine used to go to Costco every Friday in what we used to call uh, Bobo Tapas. We would just walk 
Costco oh, yeah. and just get oh, all yeah. the samples. We sure. became friends with all the sample ladies. Sure. Uh, uh, we we asked about their kids. We knew about where they were going to college. It was it was like an amazing time. And then at the end, you get got you dog. got you got a hot dog. And you know, I was a growing boy. I had two. If you were allowed to have two hot dogs, Brett, I'm allowed. No, I'm allowed. Okay. you're totally allowed. But I. But. I've I always about. regretted having that second. You have always, yeah, yes. Good lesson. And and friends who have like, yeah, man, I, I get, I can't get through that second one. All right, Bryce, we're ending the show. Uh, did it. Did you know that Snoops uh, said yes? He did say I will kill you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, thank you everybody for joining us here. We did it. Uh, we are going to go offline. Uh, maybe we will see you on Thursday. Maybe not. Uh, and we will be back next week. You'll get some something stuff. on Thursday. I something. don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's our motto. Um, uh, yep, all of that stuff and more. Oh, uh, Big Marbles race on Thursday. Check it out. The Fruit Cup. Get on the Patreon. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Okay, bye.